Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren and in this video we're going to be discussing my top five stocks to purchase right now. And before we jump into any of that, I just want to say if you enjoy these types of videos where I talk about some of my favorite stocks, stocks that I'm purchasing and stocks that I'm planning on purchasing in the future, then please make sure to smash that like button, drop a like on this video. It really does help me out. And also if we do get a lot of views on this video and a decent amount of likes, I may consider doing another one of these videos in the future where I focus on stocks that are not listed in this video and of course that will also give me the opportunity to search out some of these stocks within the stock market to maybe find that gem that everyone is looking for so if you do enjoy these types of videos please make sure to show some love and also if you're new feel free to subscribe I keep everyone up to date on the moves that I'm making on this channel and I always talk about upcoming stocks and of course the big ones like Tesla Microsoft Apple Amazon stuff like that so anyways jumping back onto this top five list one aspect about this list is that these stocks are not listed in any particular order so as I count down and go through the various stocks in the top five just because I talk about one first doesn't mean I think it's better than the last one so these are not really listed in any order because it's kind of hard to do that when you have so many different factors that go into these companies and these stocks and also another important aspect to keep in mind is that some of these stocks are at an expensive price right now so when the title says top five stocks to buy right now obviously I understand that some of these stocks in this list are a little bit expensive however I'm talking about long term when I make a list like this I'm looking at the long term vision and even with my portfolio that I have here all of my investments I own three major stocks in my portfolio and all of those investments are for the long term they're for the next 40 years so even if you do purchase at a slightly high price or at a premium price for a stock that is on this list that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting a bad deal if you're investing for the long term because in the long term a few dollars difference in these stocks aren't really a big deal and before we start off with the first stock that I'll be discussing today I do have to show off my portfolio just to show a little bit of credibility I guess not trying to flex anything or anything like that but I did start in December so I'm just giving context for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel I started investing in December and then I have slowly reorganized my portfolio in the month of May I sold about thirty two thousand dollars in VOO stock to put it in the rest of my other stocks so I own three main stocks right now and my portfolio is not very diversified because I like to keep it concentrated because when you concentrate it on a small number of stocks that you have researched and think they will do well then there's a much bigger chance of you growing your wealth exponentially compared to simply maintaining or slowly growing your wealth with diversifying and also keep in mind that anything I say in this video is not to be considered financial advice it is simply me sharing my thoughts and opinions about the market the moves that I'm making and of course top five lists like these so first off we have stock number one which is Microsoft stock so just to address this in terms of my portfolio this is the largest holding that I have in my stock portfolio it takes up about 45 percent of my portfolio but as you can see I have around thirty six thousand dollars in value in this stock invested and so far I've made a very solid return with Microsoft I'm super happy and satisfied with this stock and it has made me about 9.34 percent which is about thirty one hundred dollars and keep in mind that I didn't invest significantly into Microsoft until the later months of my investing career so I can pretty much show you actually we can go ahead and check out the first day that I made a purchase on Microsoft stock I, I think I purchased one share yeah one share back in December and then I started purchasing significantly in February and then of course in March was when I really started doubling down on this stock because it was at a very very good sell price because of the stock market crash that was from the Rona so to show you where I started purchasing this of course I made one purchase in like December I bought one share and just held on to that one share for a pretty long time and I I still have it of course but I didn't start making big purchases until later on in March of course I purchased some in February as the share price was going down in value I was purchasing large amounts of this stock on its way down and I'm still so happy that I did that because I knew that even if the Rona situation got super bad I would still be getting the stock at a cheaper price than what it was at previously and I was even getting it cheaper than what it was at even a few weeks before the crash so I was purchasing a a lot of shares 
on the way down and then especially near the bottom here i made some pretty large purchases obviously i didn't know it was the very bottom but i still bought a significant amount when it was around the 135 to 140 dollar range so that is where a lot of my shares come from in microsoft and then of course i sold thirty two thousand dollars in voo stock recently which meant that i had some extra funds to invest in this stock and some others so that is why the average cost is up so high because the average cost was at like 160 but ever since i sold voo just a few weeks ago i just put a bunch of it into microsoft stock and, and bought it when it was like 177 to 185 so i have purchased a significant amount of microsoft stock near the current price so that's why the average cost is so high but just addressing why this is one of my top stocks in the stock market this is one of those stocks that grows very well and very consistently over the years and as you can see it started out on the past five years microsoft was actually one of those stocks that was at a low price for a pretty long time it hit a significant peak way back in the early 2000s stock market bubble right before it crashed and then of course it was pretty much plateaued ever since then up until the most recent past five years and as you can see right here about five years ago it was 46 dollars and it is 187 right now so this company has really been turned around by ceo satya nadella and as you can see this has grown at a rate of about 30 to 60 percent every year and if you look at their earnings reports they consistently beat earnings and this is like one of the safest stocks out there in terms of beating earnings being a good stock for the long term in my opinion just because of how they operate very consistently they have a fantastic business model they offer dividends and it's considered one of the safest businesses out there i think they have a triple a rating and i think there's only one or just a few other stocks out there that have that rating in terms of safety so it is a very safe stock in my opinion but it also offers a lot of growth which i find a lot of value in and that's a goal with my portfolio i really want to focus on the growth stocks and i understand that index funds and all of that stuff is nice too but i prefer to invest in index funds and safer etfs in my roth ira and when it comes to a taxable public account i like to be a little bit more risky and focus on growth stocks that will really be worth my time now moving on to my second stock of the list we are going to talk about tesla stock and i know that some of you that aren't really like super tesla bulls may be rolling your eyes right now because of the price and because of all the hype that is behind this stock just give me a chance to explain i've explained this in a lot of my other videos on my channel so i'm not going to go super in depth but i know that this stock is at a premium right now it is at a high price but i feel like just like apple stock this is going to be one of those stocks and similar to shopify stock and amazon stock as well it's going to be one of those stocks that will always be at a premium just because people realize that it is one of those really solid businesses that has a lot of potential and of course it does have a huge fan base so as we know with a lot of these companies out here when there is a big fan base behind it and a lot of supporters the stock price is always going to be a little bit at a premium but in this case even with this stock being at a premium price right now even at nine hundred dollars i still think it is worth it in the long term given the tremendous potential of growth of electric vehicles eventually taking over the whole vehicle market which i think is going to happen and given that that is going to happen tesla is at the forefront right now and is completely way more advanced than any other vehicle company out there and even with the idea of tesla competitors there's still vehicles that are electric that cannot compete with the 2012 tesla model s there's really not any other company out there that has been able to even keep up with that model let alone with what tesla is doing right now and planning for the future in terms of battery capacity the zero to 60 times and all these other fantastic firmware features that go along with the interface and then of course you have really cool easter eggs as well there's just so many different aspects that tesla does with their vehicles and within their company that i just don't see any form of competition actually being significant and for another thing tesla already has a tremendous lead in the full self-driving capabilities and this is going to be huge in the future it's a huge aspect of disruption and innovation that no other companies are really focusing on as much as tesla and tesla already has their vehicles out here around the world gathering data for them and it's doing it for free because the customers have paid to buy those vehicles and tesla is gathering that data for free so they're basically getting paid to gather data and as we are learning data is hugely important 
important when it comes to training neural nets and AI networks and stuff like that. So with the full self-driving technology, the battery technology, and of course, the huge optimization machine that Tesla is, I think that this stock is still a great buy. Even at this current price, maybe not a great buy, a little bit more expensive than what people may prefer. But I feel like 40 years from now, I'm going to look back on this $900 price and think, okay, that seemed high back then, but it was still a pretty good deal. Moving on to my third stock out of this list, we're going to be talking about Apple stock. And I know, especially if you weren't a big fan of the, the Tesla part of this video, you're probably thinking, okay, this guy has already listed two expensive stocks, but hear me out once again. Apple stock is one of those stocks that I think is not overvalued. I think the analysts just simply have no clue on this stock when it comes to what it's actually worth. As you can see with the Robinhood Gold Research Report, the fair value is at 240 and this stock is at, at 330 And keep in mind, this fair value has been here for a while. This $240 fair value has existed for many months now. And this stock just continues to not care whatsoever about its fair value, which I love. It's up almost 81% for the past year. And of course, for the past five years, it has done pretty well also. But like I said, this is just one of those stocks that I think analysts have it wrong on. We know that analysts can be wrong on stocks, just like how they were wrong about Tesla in early 2019. And in my opinion, I think Apple is a good stock because it's one of those that I feel like I can hold on for the long term for the next 40 years. And I have faith in it for growing in value. And of course, with all of the innovation within this company as well, I mean, you have the AirPods, which basically revolutionized the way people listen to music. I remember many years ago, I had always thought about why hasn't someone created wireless earphones? That would be so huge. And then Apple finally did it. They made it very stylish and modern. And then of course, every company copied them on it, but everybody wanted the Apple AirPods because that was really what started it all. And of course, when you have Apple products, it obviously gives you a little bit of status in society as well. So that's another huge aspect is that there are some very loyal Apple fans and followers that only prefer to use Apple products and not not any others. And in my opinion, this stock is still going to do very well in the future if there isn't a stock market crash. Because like I said, these AirPod sales are huge. And the most recent iPhone release went well. Also, the newest iPhone is fantastic. I have the iPhone 11 Pro. So in my opinion, this is a great stock to hold for the long term. And as you can see right here, it has done very well for me and already grown 16%, which is about a $1,900 gain. And I'm just super happy with the stock. And it also offers a dividend as well which is pretty cool. So moving on to the fourth stock, we have ARKK, which is the ARK Innovation ETF. And if you don't know who Kathy Wood is, she's the CEO of ARK Investments, which basically has control over this ETF. They control what stocks go into this ETF. And as you can see in the past year, it has done tremendously well. And especially within the past three months and within the past month, it has done very, very well. And its recovery from the crash has already gone significantly over over the previous peak and this is one of the best performers that I think I've seen that has exceeded its previous peak before the crash and it's it's way higher up than what it was at previously but if you are familiar with the ARK Invest and of course Kathy Wood then you probably know that she is a huge Tesla bull they're actually super bullish on Tesla but just to explain what this ETF is it is basically an actively managed fund that focuses on innovation and disruption in various sectors of the economy so for example we have Tesla disrupting the auto industry and that's an aspect of disruption and they invest part of their fund into Tesla and then they also invest into like disruptive genomic companies so that's stuff like altering your genome to improve your health overall and, and companies like that and then there's of course the coding companies and AI companies that are going to be huge in the future as well so like the ETF describes this is focused on innovation and disruptive companies which I think is actually pretty awesome so that's why this ETF is in my top five currently because I do like the idea of disruptive companies. I think that's what's going to make big waves in the stock market in the future, especially with AI and neural nets right now. But keep in mind that you can also simply just look at the stocks that are contained within this ETF and pick and choose specific ones that you would like to purchase instead of actually investing in the whole thing in itself. 
for example, I think that Square is a decent stock. And, and by the way, Square is actually contained within the ARK ETF. I think it's a decent stock, but I don't know if it's one of those that I would personally choose to invest in. So I may avoid investing in Square and just choose a few specific stocks that are within ARK instead of having to invest in the ETF in general, because I may not want that coverage in Square stock. But overall, this is definitely one that I'm looking at right now. And I, I do think that it is one of those out here that has potential to grow even more it has been on sort of like a flat line over the past few years or so over the past two years but as you can see within these recent months it has been growing significantly however keep in mind that when you're dealing with an etf like this that is focused on innovation there is potential for the arc invest individuals to choose a stock that may not perform well therefore causing the etf not to perform well so it might be considered a little bit less safe than your typical index fund or so but there's also a lot more potential for gains here as well i actually talked about this stock a few weeks ago and one of my subscribers mentioned that they purchased some of this and that it had been performing well for them so i can only imagine their returns on this stock right now after it has done so well over the past month or so so i just wanted to mention this one for my fourth pick and then finally for my fifth stock pick we have amazon stock and i feel like this one basically explains itself amazon is just one of those stocks that you can kind of go to and rely on to give you that consistent gain every year as you can see especially with arona the past year amazon stock is skyrocketing rocketed it went up about 43 percent over this past year and of course over the past five years it has gone up about 477 percent which is absolutely unheard of this is a tremendous growth rate that is really impressive so this is one of those stocks that i think it's almost like a monopoly at this point where they have so much money to fund any other business venture that they want to integrate into the amazon service and that even goes along with like tesla there's been talks of jeff bezos buying other electric vehicle companies and then combining their research with a full self-driving technology for amazon to create their own full self-driving electric vehicles that can offer themselves as service to the amazon marketplace where it can like deliver packages to the warehouses or to someone's home as well so i think amazon at this point is just so rich that they can invest their money into any sort of business venture that can help them expand even further and even more into a bigger monopoly but keep in mind i actually don't think amazon's sort of like monopoly that they have is a bad thing because amazon does offer great services affordable services and of course they were one of the first people ever to do the two-day shipping thing which is awesome their shipping times are really fast so amazon is just one of those stocks that i feel like will always do well it's always going to be one of those performers because jeff bezos and his team at amazon has that mindset of keeping up with society and of course trying to stay many steps ahead of other companies out there to maintain their position in the industry so i feel like this is going to be one of those stocks that will always do well in my opinion and i definitely don't think that it would be a bad idea to invest in this for the long term so that ends it today with my top five stocks i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to smash that like button drop a like on the video it really does help me out and I really appreciate it. And also, if you would like to begin investing, feel free to use my referral links down in the description below. If you sign up with those links, then we'll both get some free stocks, which is pretty awesome. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay safe out there.